Mr. Speaker, sir, reply to start question number 82A. Yes, sir. B, 36 number, sir. C, is Casillas subdivision long numerous school in So Young Community School? East Cass Hills, Salt Rye, Neil. West Cass Hills, Subdivision Martian Road, Atiabari Community School. Southwest Cass Hills, Mark Road, Maheshkala Community School. East and West Cass Hills, Mairang, Maokakwa Community School. West St. Hills, Dwight, Neil. West Denki Hills, Amlerem, Amlerilim Common and School. East Denki Hills, Clearian, Saiwal Common and School. East Denki Hills, Clearian, Molhoi Common and School. Ribhoi District, Nongpo, Maukir Common and School. West Karo Hills, Tura Nil. West Karo Hills, Dadengri Nil, East Karo Hills, William Nagar, Baringre Nengsil Government of School, East Karo Hills, William Nagar, Majolgre Dogru Government of School, East Karo Hills, William Nagar, Jongmegre Government of School, East Karo Hills, William Nagar, Nobokre Government of School, East Karo Hills, William Nagar, Rengre Gre Gaumen Elp School East Karo Hills, William Naga Savil Gre Gaumen Elp School East Karo Hills, William Naga Rong Rong Gre Gaumen Elp School East Karo Hills, William Naga Danal Bolki Pok Gaumen Elp School East Karo Hills, William Naga Bol Moram Dachok Gaumen Elp School East Karo Hills, William Naga Koknal Mong Gaumen Elp School South West Curry Hills, Ampati, Patre Gray, Gaumen Elp School. North Curry Hills, Resulpara, Nayapara, Gaumen Elp School. South Curry Hills, Batmara, Roma, Rekman Gray, Gaumen Elp School. South Curry Hills, Batmara, Chimita, Gaumen Elp School. South Curry Hills, Batmara, Pascom, Gaumen Elp School, South Hills Bakmara, Mon Rong Snagre, Gaumen Elp School, South Hills Bakmara, Halwa Atam, Gaumen Elp School, South Hills Bakmara, Baman Gre, Gaumen Elp School, South Hills Bakmara, Geni Gre, Gaumen Elp School, South Hills Bakmara, Wage Bok Gre, Gaumen Elp School, South Hills Bakmara, Dambuk Aga. Gaumen Elp School, South Hills Bakmara, Rongru Asim Gaumen Elp School, South Hills Bakmara, Kanhi Kanchi Galak Gaumen Elp School, South Hills Bakmara, Dambuk Apal Gaumen Elp School, South Hills Bakmara, Emandura Banda Gaumen Elp School, South Hills Bakmara, Aruga Gre Gaumen Elp School, South Hills Bakmara. Upper Dosogre, Gaumen Elp School, South Hills Bakmara, Daringre, Gaumen Elp School, sir. That's all, sir. Mr. Speaker, sir, from the replies of the Honorable Minister in Charge of Education, we have come to know that there are as many as 36 Gaumen Elp School, where there is not even a single teacher. So in that case, what will be the fate of the students? And what alternative steps are being taken to ensure the schooling and the education for the children in these villages are continued.
Mr. Speaker, sir, in most of the village where the school located, there are alternative school, nearby school, which student is attending. And number two, sir, that uh, this teacherless school happened due to uh, retirement or transfer or uh, resignation of the incumbent teachers and wherever the uh, schools, the nearby, sc the nearby school from that schoolless, uh, teacherless uh, schools, we have approved for rationalization to push the teacher where so that the student could go to that school. Mr. Speaker, sir, it's a very important issue. It's a question of the future of our children, the future of our youths. And if this foundation of the education of our children is not taken care of, we'll be lending up with by having lots of problem and it will be overburdened to all of us in future. So in the, from the reply of the Honorable Minister, he said in the most of the cases, that means somewhere, somewhere, some interim arrangements are being met, but not everywhere. So we cannot even deprive even a single child. It's a fundamental right. Where is then the free and compulsory education to be given as entering in the Constitution. So, the rationalization, why it is still in the future tense, it should, be, it should have been done immediately without wasting time, just to protect the interest of the children. You may put a question, please. No, it is very serious, Mr. Speaker, sir. It is. So, it, put a I, I urge upon the government. I will have to speak about the background, the collateral effects, then only the government will know. That's why I'm speaking, Mr. Speaker, sir. So I would like to, I will urge upon the government to do the legislation process immediately without wasting any time. Will the government will do immediately? Sir, the process have been, have, uh, we have done. We have a, given a permission to Southwest Crisis, uh, SDSEO Southwest Crisis, Mao Krawat, SDSEO Martian Road, West Coast Hills, SDSEO Myram, SDSEO Nongpo, SDSEO Bakmara, SDSEO Resubal Para, and others to rationalize and post the teachers wherever the, student, the schools in the, this uh, schoolless teachers where the village is very far for the student to attend. Sir, we have been raising this issue repeatedly even inside this house and even outside the house for the larger interest of the uh, people of the state. Now, there are a number of vacant posts to be filled up. And as the Honorable Minister has stated, due to retirement, due to transfer, due to resignation, these uh, schools have become teacherless. So why the induction or the appointment, even on contractual basis, is not met to ensure the continuation of education of the children in these schools? Sir, I have already stated in the house a few days back. So, sir, uh, this uh, problem happened in the midst of doing of a recruitment process and also preparing for the recruitment process where due to the, due to the uh, 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 judgment of the Honorable High Court, that we have to prepare the ROSA system. So preparation of ROSA system is, uh, is almost complete, and we hope that uh, we will be able to 
do this process as early as possible. And I have already stated that this, uh, and I will repeat it myself, that uh, we are trying to look at the parameter within the framework of legal, uh, within the legal framework, how, whether there is any scope for the appointment, temporary appointment of this teacher without going through the roster system. So we didn't want to cut in legal tangle. Uh, we are prepping for that. So we hope that in the few days time, few weeks time, we will able to complete for the best interest of the student community in the state because our intention is that uh, to see that the student get the education. Sir. <clears throat> Last, Mr. Speaker, sir, <clears throat> the honorable courts be it High Court or the Honorable Supreme Court. It's to protect, to safeguard and uphold the provision of the Constitution and safeguard the provision of the law. So, as the leaders, when we have powers and positions, these powers and positions come along with responsibilities. It seems the people in, who are in harm of affairs they want power without responsibility. I would like to know from the government whether the government had met an effort by filing an affidavit before the Honorable High Court to vacate, to do some interim arrangements by not depriving the children from their fundamental rights. As the Honorable Member pointed out, we have the responsibility and we have the will to do it. But sir, uh, I must say that the judgment of the Honorable High Court clearly stated that all appointments should be followed the roster system. And uh, it is not a very easy... No so sir, my, my, my question is, uh, let me be very specific. My question is, sir, there is always, standing, there, is, there are always standing. ways and means. There are Honourable always ways. Just Honourable Member, please take a seat. Just please, please take just a seat. To please take a seat. Let the minister reply. If you're not satisfied, you can ask again. No I'm just running, sir. Please, no. <clears throat> sir, I have already replied that uh, the Honorable High Court judgment clearly specified that all the recruitment process should follow the roster system. And to prepare the roster for the last 50 years, it is not very easy. I'm not telling that all the previous government or the previous leader are irresponsible, that this burden fall on us. No. It is the process we are willing. That's why I told that we are very confident that the process will be complete in the few days, few weeks, so that uh, whatever we do will be in conformity with the legal process, sir. Sir, my question was very specific. I was intending, intending to know that whether the government has come up with any affidavit to be filed or filing before the High Court, Honorable High Court, because there may, there may, there may be intervention from the Honorable High Court, but there are ways and means. Just in this specific case, the government uh, could have filed an affidavit asking the Honorable High Court, requesting before the Honorable High Court to vacate only for this reason. Thereby, we will rescue the children from being deprived of their constitutional rights. There is no... Sir, uh, we have not filed the affidavit to exempt this because Many of the departments, small departments, they have already completed the process for rationalization, which we have seen that just yesterday or a few days back, that MPAC issued the corrigendum for the for the advertisement of uh, for the post which have advertised following the roster system. We are hoping that whatever we do, we'll do uh, according to the legal framework, and we are very sure that we'll complete the process. Sir. <clears throat> Mr. Speaker, sir. In course of his reply, the Honorable Minister replied to the questioner's question B 
the total number of vacant posts, 36. Sir, I don't agree with that figure. I have raised this two schools within my constituency day before yesterday when we were discussing the subject during short duration uh, discussion. I, within my consultation, I have two schools which doesn't figure here. I have two teacherless schools. One school is Sindulgre Government Health School, another is Kedupara Government Health School. Sindulgre Health School is now, it is two and a half years, teacherless school. Single teacher run, single teacher run school. There was no intervention from the Honorable High Court that time. Why this delay in the appointment of teachers? I would like to know from the Honorable Minister, why was the delay for appointment of teacher to that particular school of Sindhulgiri Government Health School? Sir, so, uh, I didn't have info information regarding that school, but from the statement of the Honorable Member that it is a single teacher school. Yeah, uh, Mr. Speaker, sir, through you. Please pass back to the question. Yes, sir. Yes. Rosta system is for the permanent appointment. So, whether there will be any kind of a stopgap arrangement for those schools temporarily? So, I have already stated time and again that they also have stated that we are looking at the parameter of the law, within the parameter of the law, to see that if this temporary arrangement could be done and if it is there, we will do it. Sir. Yeah. Yeah. Sir, uh, during the course of uh, reply to the Honourable Minister, it came to learn that these schools, teacherless schools, uh, for these schools they have alternative. But uh, there are four schools which emerge in, in the least from my constituency, and these schools are you know far away from other villages, four kilometers, three kilometers far away from the uh, other schools. So therefore. Can I get an assurance from the Honourable Minister? This will be looked into so that additional teachers or teachers will be appointed to this particular particular schools. We will be looking into, sir. <coughs> yes, sir. I would like to put a question to Honourable Minister. Uh, like we are talking about uh, appointment of uh, I mean uh, teachers. So now uh, I'm going to uh, ask him about a one. A clarification I need to get from Honorable Minister. Uh, we are looking for a qualitative uh, a a teachers, students, and education. No doubt about that, the whole state. So, uh, may I ask, uh, Honorable Minister, why uh, there's no principle uh, which uh, which the government had delayed till date for around 15 schools, government high secondary school, all, uh, all across the state? Till date, there's no uh, full uh, full fledged uh, principal of uh, government high secondary school. Around 15 school all around. Question over is closed.